buttermilk crispy chicken? Let's find out. It's probably the best sandwich I've ever had. It's super crispy, but it's also really juicy. So would you guys come back? Yep. Yeah, well, yeah. definitely. Well, here's our car. The location is on the back. It's uh -huh. McDonald's. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, get out of here. No way. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Try some buttermilk crispy chicken. It's right around the corner at McDonald's. Buttermilk. It's <laughs> <laughs> so Brad Atwell back with Ask the Coach with Coach Jeff Griffith. Uh, we also want to remind you, if you'd like to check out the podcast of Ask the Coach each week, WCLU will post that after uh, the game with game film after the radio show uh, airs live. And you can watch that at WCOU.com or just go to WCOURadio.com and click on the video link. And uh, as always, brought to us by uh, Glasgow McDonald's. And we want to thank them for sponsoring uh, McDonald's Ask the Coach podcast with Game Film each week. Coach, uh, we, uh, we talked a little bit about our offense uh, in the first segment. Uh, looking back over some numbers of our offense last night, uh, you know, we had a, we had a pretty good night uh, running the football and uh you know when i when i look back you know we had uh it, it seems like that when when you can establish the run and and it opens up other things but i tell you last week we talked about uh may uh and instead of throwing it to him last night he was involved in some of our rushing the uh, rushing offense last night he was and you know i think he only caught a couple of balls last night of course if you notice, they were a lot of times they were putting somebody in, in over the top, underneath him and over the top of him. So in the passing game, they were going to really try to take him away. But you know, as I've said since the preseason, you know, Nick's a guy that's got to touch the ball for us 10, 12 times a game, whether it's catching it in the kicking game or or us handing it to him. And I'm not sure exactly how many times that he was probably close to touching it 10 times last night. And you know, just the threat of him opens some things up for for the rest of our team. And and uh, you know, and if they don't cover him up, we're going to get him the football however we we have to but you know we're going to be a running football team we've got a big offensive line that's continuing to gel and work together and we've got some physical running backs and and you know with our quarterback Andrew when we have to throw it and want to throw it you know he's been really accurate so far so you know I like where we are obviously we're, we're squandering some opportunities in the red zone when we get down there here the first couple of weeks but you know we'll, we'll get those things cleaned up moving forward hopefully. Yeah, talking about that offensive line, uh, I think I saw a hundred percent improvement from the Midcalf game to the Taylor game last night. Just what those guys were able to do, uh, the scheming on the defensive side when they were scheming us, uh, it looked like our guys knew who to block. And uh, I, I saw some of those big guys downfield eight or ten yards last night when the running back was still running and they were still engaged blocking somebody well you know this time of the this first part of the year here every everyone's offensive line is is you know getting a feel for each other getting a feel for things because it you know that's probably the last thing that kind of comes together in terms of your your offense and those guys are learning we've got a lot of new guys up front that hasn't played a whole you know a few guys that have played in the past but you know we've got two or three guys that are new to the offensive line and learning the scheme that we're putting in and and so, but we're pleased with where they are. They're getting better. I agree with you. They were certainly uh, better in uh, last night than they were in the first game. And and we hope to continue to make that improvement with those guys. And we think by the time we get to our district games, we got a chance to be pretty special up front. I tell you what, I what I have been impressed with 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 our our offense in general is you know usually early in the season, coach. You know you're you're plagued with with the. Uh, false starts, uh, you know, illegal procedure, those kind of things, and and you know we, I don't know, I don't know that that we've had a lineman that's had an, a a false start, um, and I think we've had one illegal procedure. Yeah. I think we actually we, we've had one, we've had one false start in the Metcalf game. Uh, where we flinched a little bit when we were trying to draw someone, draw them off sides on a hard count. But uh, other than that, we have been pleased with that. Of course, we've made it's a big point of emphasis, you know, for our offense and our coaching staff to, you know, we can't take senseless penalties like that and put our offense, you know, in in second and fifteen when we can, you know, we just can't do that. You know, we're, we we got to be an on schedule type team where, you know, it needs to be in first and ten, second and six, you know, third and two, where you know we can't be behind the sticks so bad. And that way we can – that dictates play calling. There's, you know, nobody really has a good third and 15 play. <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure. That is for sure. Uh, talking about offense last night, we had uh, – on rushing, we had 44 carries for 174 yards. 
and uh, you know passing four uh, for 56 and uh, one of those came on uh, you know almost a, a 30 yard reception mm-hmm. uh, of, of Ellis coming out of the backfield uh, when you know just like you said you know Nick drew a lot of people on him they double covered him and they took off down the field with him and Ellis was open there uh, on the little screen and uh, you know just tossed it out there to him and he was gone yeah it was a it was a naked boot play where you know we like you said a lot of people were, we're getting Nick's obviously getting a lot of attention he did for them and and uh, got Ellis out in the flat there and Andrew did a good job just dumping it over their defensive end and there was a lot of uh, real estate there and that was a critical part of the game where we needed to move the, flip the field on them so to speak and and that did it right there and, and that led us on a, the, a I think our second touchdown drive and last touchdown drive of the game there so you know those are things that we're going to have to do and you know we didn't throw it maybe last night as much as we should have we we had a, some things we were going to run coming into the game but just the flow of the game and the the way the everything kind of worked out you know we just felt like to just kept banging it in there and running the football with Ellis and and Stanton got and those guys and and we just felt like that was a way and, and fortunately it worked out for us yeah you know I just uh you know when when you see when you see where that uh, it's not just one guy that's having to, to to shoulder the load. You know, just when when I look uh, when I look down through here, you know, Ellis did he touched the football twenty two times last night, uh, rushing. Uh, he touched it twice on on receptions out of the backfield. Uh, Snead touched the football three times, and of course Ellis in those twenty two times he touched it rushing. He had a touchdown. Uh, Snead come in touched it three times, had a touchdown. Uh, you know, Hughes rushed the football nine times last night uh, for 32 yards, and you know, and, and really should have probably been 36 yards because they they deduct when you take a knee, and he he backed up and took a <laughs> yeah. knee there at the end of the game and deducted some yards off of his. But uh, so you know, he actually really carried the ball eight times for 36 yards. Uh, you know, Stanton got seven uh, seven times for 16, and then Mabe touched it twice for 14. So you know, establishing that rush. But, you know, then, then again, what really opened it up for us, it was a little bit of that, you know, you can throw it out there and, like you said, turning that field over and uh, giving us some great field position. And, and on that drive, we took it on down and, and punched it in. Well, that was an important drive. We had held them down there, I want to say, on about the five-yard line on yeah, downs. Yeah, it was. It was at the five. And uh, – I believe that was a drive where it was about a 90 or 95 yard drive that we had and of course that really took the the air out of the game and ran the clock down and you know we didn't feel like that they were going to they had big play capability so if they did score they were going to have to drive the field although the touchdown drive they had it seemed like they got down there pretty quick you know they threw the ball over our head uh, once to their big tight end and and that's that was like again that was just a breakdown that should not have happened it's similar to the Metcalf we got to get that cleaned up if we're going to move forward and have a good football team but you know I thought our kids played hard the entire game and and really fought and competed and, and that's all you can ask as a coach sure all right uh, you're here with uh, coach Griffith on ask the coach on WCOU sports and we'll be back after these messages what are people going to think of our new buttermilk crispy chicken let's find out it's probably the best sandwich I've ever had. It's super crispy, but it's also really juicy. So would you guys come back? Yeah, yeah of course, yes. definitely. Well, here's our car. The location is on the back. It's McDonald's. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, get out of here. No way. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Try some buttermilk crispy chicken. It's right around the corner at McDonald's. Buttermilk. <laughs> <laughs> 